Yo, what is up, everybody? It is Crazy Gamer here. Today we are back playing some more City Skylines, and I am so excited to be back playing it because it has been quite a while since I've actually been playing it. I've been pretty dang busy. Uh, I just bought a new monitor for my computer because my old one decided to crap out on me. And uh, this episode we actually have a few mods running. I don't really care too much for the Steam achievements, so uh, I said, you know what, screw it. I'm just going to go ahead and get some mods. We're going to have some fun with this game. Uh, and we're going to make it a little bit easier on us on ourselves. So uh, I downloaded the Auto Bulldoze mod, which automatically bulldozes any abandoned buildings or houses that have burned down. So uh, basically they, they bulldoze themselves anyway. Uh, just, you know, people moving in and stuff like that. But there was a... There was a point in time in a different save where where there was a a big amount of people that were basically moving out and uh yeah my world kind of just turned to an apocalypse type of world and it was terrible uh what is going on with this power man there we go cool okay well all right so we got to get some more residential area in here as well as industrial but I'm going to do industrial first, and here's why. Uh, I've actually been playing this game for about three weeks now. I want to say two or three weeks off and on. Of course, like I said, I've been pretty dang busy lately, so I haven't been able to play it as much as I'd wish I had uh, or could. But, yeah, it's it's been kind of hectic lately. So, uh, we're going to put some residential in there. Let's go ahead and chop that little bit right there. Connect our power grid back together. Get that all going again. There we go. Cool. Awesome. So we got our residential coming in there. Uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and do this residential too. Just because I think we're going to need a lot more residential. Uh, we got to get our industrial zone up over here. Uh, because before you know it, these people are going to be looking for jobs. So I think we're really off to a good start. Hopefully the pollution doesn't spread to over here. I do need to lay water pipes for these guys. Because if I don't, they're going to get very, very upset with me. So yeah, we got some mods going. The bulldozer... Automatic bulldozing mod, which is awesome. Uh, so I got a new monitor. My videos are going to be still in 720p. I upgraded from a 1600 uh, by 900 resolution monitor. Uh, sadly, it crapped out on me. It started getting lines in it and everything else. It just really sucked because I purchased the monitor for only 100 bucks. It was on sale. I got it at Best Buy, and that's probably why it crapped out on me so soon but I only had it for six months guys you believe that crap six months what the heck where's our hospital oh, okay it's right there in the center of town uh, I don't want to take anybody's house out but I will take their business out uh, let's see that's okay we're gonna put it here we need a police station too sadly I think I think these people's houses are gonna have to go. Sorry, people. Plenty more houses coming in. Don't worry about it. Uh, we do need to shoot a road down through here. I'm not gonna connect it. Because I don't really care to. There we go. Alright, we got water. We got power. Awesome. I think I'm gonna go ahead and disconnect this. Because the power lines to me are ugly. I'm gonna disconnect this one. Hopefully, it's not gonna ruin everything. It shouldn't. And it's gonna... Alright, there we go. Let me actually... Let me do this right quick. Hang on. Let's fix this up. Make it look pretty. There we go. Awesome. So, as you can tell, they're already requesting a little bit of uh, in industry. And that... Seems to be working quite well. Everything looks good over there. Houses look good. We need to more power hmm what is our source of power right now I can't remember exactly it's been about two weeks since I've played this like I said coal power plants we only have one of them and they put out how much is this one putting out 
23 megawatts. Okay. We got coal for 22 weeks. I think we, if we just up the budget a little bit, we should be fine. So let's go ahead and bump it up to 80. See if that helps. Let's go ahead and fast forward. That seemed to help a little bit. All right, let's go up to the 90 then. See, there we go. Awesome. We're probably going to have to put in another coal power plant or something else to generate us some power because, as you can tell, we got houses go coming in like crazy. People are moving in, and we're going to need probably another highway exit down here. But that will probably be in the next episode. There we go. Look at that. We leveled up. We got 15,000 people in our city, and we have unlocked decoration, level 2 unique buildings, which I don't really use a whole lot of, but I should start using them more in my cities because I used them in one city and, and it really helped out, so that's good. We got pet ban, smoking ban, parks and recreation, and a high school, which is awesome, because currently all I have is an elementary school. So let's go ahead and put that high school down there. And I think we're going to hold off on everything else. Uh, because people are still happy. And that's awesome. Uh, let's see. Global happiness. Yeah, they're at 59% and climbing due to the high school. So that is awesome. So I don't think we really need any parks just yet. Let's see what kind of unique buildings we have. Statue of Industry. All right. Well, let's see. Let's fast forward a bit, see what happens. Still got houses coming in. Businesses being built. And of course, look at that. Residential demand. Good gosh. People are really liking this place, huh? What is that? Why is the police station on fire? Why is the firehouse not... Okay, there we go. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Hmm. They had to go all the way around the block just to get to there. That is terrible. I don't know. See, that's the thing about this game is you really got to figure out how things work before you can just jump right into things. Why is it? Is it really on fire again? Oh, my gosh. What is going on with this police station? What is going on with that thing, man? All right, let's see. Can I get a... I don't know. I don't know what my screenshot button is. I don't know. I can't remember. It's been forever since I've used this recording program that I'm using. I'm using Bandicam for this video. I'm going to give it a sh another shot. I've been using Fraps and Audacity. So, I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Hopefully it turns out good. Let me know. Leave a like on this video. I really do appreciate that. Go ahead, bump our power up and our water up to 70%. See how that goes. So far, so good. We got a good looking city. We do need to add <laughs> some curved roads. <laughs> uh, we got a very square, rectangular ish city. And it's not, not looking too pretty, but it seems to be efficient for the most part. So that's, that's awesome. That's always good. Look at that high demand for that residential. Whew, people love this place. Very high. Awesome. Alright, well, I guess it is time to upgrade our city here. Mm. Ah, dang it. I don't really want to destroy somebody's house, but looks like I'm going to have to. Sorry, folks. Had to happen. Now let's go ahead and toss in some curved roads, shall we? There we go. Connect that. Make it into like a little subdivision, you know? Let's see if I can make it look kind of cool. Um. I don't really want it to connect to anything. There we go. Let's see. Let's add a road going across. Do we have water flowing there? We do. 
but we could use a little bit more. All right, let's go ahead and toss that in there and see what happens. Oh, look at that, people are already moving in. That is insane. People really love my city. That is awesome. Let's go ahead and place some... Dang it, I don't want to get rid of that company. Please don't leave. It's going to happen. That's going to demolish itself, I bet you. Because I removed some squares from it. I guarantee it. Maybe. Nah, I don't think it's going to happen. Alright, well, I will give you guys an update in just a few minutes of what happens. Alright, we are back. We have one abandoned building in our industry. Oh, there's two. I think it's our taxes. So there it goes. That was the mod in action right there. As you can tell, they don't stick around for, ve for very long at all. I think it... I think it just basically lowers the timer on how long they, they sit there for. Normally they sit there for about a week before they get demolished and, and that just really sucks because it wreaks havoc on your uh, total city happiness and that and that's terrible because people will actually start leaving your city if people aren't happy. I mean you'd leave a city too if you weren't happy. Seeing all those abandoned buildings and such. Oh man I know I'd be out of there. Alright let's see. Let's raise that up to 120%. I actually had to raise it a minute ago because everybody was trying to get power. See, here we go. There we go again. I think it's time, guys, that we put in another power plant. Even though I don't really want to, I think we're going to have to. Let's go ahead and do that. we got to lower this quick because if we don't, we are going to have some troubles on our hands. Let's put it at 90%. Because we're going to be pumping out some heavy-duty power here. 32 megawatts, 32 megawatts. So currently we have 64 megawatts going through our city. I think it's time to up the ante on our water. So there we go. Got that problem fixed. See, I really like this game because it, it really just stresses your strategies as, as much as possible. Because... It's so problematic, and it's it's still a fun game. I don't I don't really get it. So I don't know why I find this game so much fun. I do. Uh, so we have a nine percent tax on everything right now. We're gonna up the ante on those two, and it looks like we should be getting some more workers in here soon. Hopefully, we do need a higher residential area, so we're gonna go ahead and do that. Residential is just booming this time of year, I swear. Everybody's looking for houses. And there are none. So let's see if we can add some. Well, I think we're just going to go ahead and connect this one straight on. And then we will have this one go something like that. There we go. And have this one like that. Sure, why not? You know, get some, get some crazy, crazy grids in here. You know what I'm saying? All right, let's go ahead and do that. Get that all linked up. You know, if you really look at a map of your city, believe it or not, there are places in your city that look like this. <laughs> there really are, I promise you. I've looked at my city before, and good gosh, there are tons of places that look just like this. All right, first off, let's go ahead and add our plumbing, because if we don't, people are going to get, like, all pissy and everything like that, and they're just going to be like, where's the water? I'm just gonna be like, yo, yo, calm down, take a chill pill, and you know, just take it easy, okay? I'm adding some water. It's happening. It's happening. And we're gonna add our residential area. There we go. I was watching a stream the other day, and the streamer insisted. On using the little fill tool and he had a bunch of these little tiles everywhere and it, I swear 
I swear it took him five minutes to fill up an area this size and having all these little tiles like that size. I was so, so, I, I don't know. I was just face palming. It was terrible. I, I actually left the stream. I was like, I can't take this. I can't take this. Everyone in chat was like, use the, the other tool. I was like, oh my gosh, I got to leave. So it looks like we upgraded to 26,000 people. That is awesome. I should say we, we met a goal of 26,000 people. Uh, we got transport buses now. We have level 3 unique buildings. We got the bus, which is awesome. Uh, or industry specialization, which is cool. Recycling and recreational use. Therefore, that stands for legal marijuana, I believe. Uh, let's see. Basically, it increases our tax income. So that's, I think, a good thing, right? Yeah, that's a good thing. Uh, moderately increased tourism, which is great. We're going to get more people coming in here. They're going to be like, yo, let's go see what's going on in Colorado. You know, 420 Blaze. Uh, slightly reduced crime rate. Uh, increases police budget by 15%, which really isn't that bad, you know? Um, let's see. Bus Depot. Advanced Wind Turbine Cemetery. A ton of highways. Alright, well, I think I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this episode here with my dog barking in the background. Uh, we will establish a bus route and everything next episode. As for this, guys, don't for forget to leave a like and don't forget to subscribe uh, if you're new. And guys, I will see you in the next episode. Hope you have a good day, guys. Take care. Peace.